Did you guys have a good day? Yeah. You had a great day? Yeah. How many fish we catch? Uh, one, two, <laughs> <laughs> Well, we come up with the whole family today. Brother Rich, nephew Zabe, nephew Caden. We're up here catching some brook trout. We're gonna cook some on the fire and catch a bunch to take home and smoke and can. So this little lake I grew up on, it's called Alhai Lake. I lived a couple miles down the road from it. I used to spend my summers up here, ride my pedal bike from the ranch. Stink, Kels. Pretty good. It's nice and warm. Not a bunch of breeze. I'm a little worried about the breeze. Gorgeous day. Zabe, orange works the best, buddy. Orange and pinks. Oh, I got pink. These brook trout are starting to spawn right now, so we can either snag them or we can uh, catch them. And they like they're they're trout, so they like to feed on uh, orange and reds and pinks this time of year. Do you? So anyway, we're gonna catch some fish and get cooking some on the fire. Uncle Richie catches one first. Y'all got to do 10 push ups. Yeah. yeah. How did you do this? If I catch one first after I build the fire, you guys got to do 20 push ups. Guys better hustle. Thought you guys are good fishermen. Yes. You're not. Yeah,
There. That's what they like. Silver and orange cast master. Does a trick every time. Get this guy cleaned up and get him on the fire. So what I just threw on there is alder wood. That's what you we use for smoking and stuff. Brother Rich over there. A couple of nice 
brook trout. These uh, ones with the red bellies are males. And then uh, females have, they're really pink. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a female right there. We'll try to throw them females back, okay? So, see, yeah, see how they have a pink belly right there? And they're full of eggs. Now you can take and milk them eggs out of there and you can throw them out there and all them fish will come and eat them. Back to mm -hmm. So here's what we got for seasoning for the fish. Garlic powder, black pepper, Johnny seasoning, salt. This stuff is really good. I've, I don't know where we got it, but it's really good. Some garlic parmesan, Johnny's pepper, seasoned pepper. Throw a slice of butter in with it. Wrap it in tin foil and throw it on the fire. It's the best way to eat these fish. Oh, we got another one, huh? That was a female. Okay, so here's how we do it. Use heavy duty tin foil, aluminum foil. And get three pieces out. And throw all three of these fish on the fire. Butter ready, cut it thin slices. I usually do one to two slices per wrap. Don't have to be very thick, just to add a little bit of flavor to the fish. I mean, they have plenty of flavor, but butter makes everything better. Whatever seasonings you want, we'll do some garlic parmesan on this one. Be generous with it now. Get that inside coating out real good. Take a little stick of butter in that puppy. favorite. Good old Johnny seasoning salt. Still quivering. stuff is pretty good. It's got Himalayan pink salt, garlic, aromatic herbs, lemon, and orange peel. Really good on fish. Do it on salmon. That salmon recipe I do, we'll have to do it up and put it on our other channel, which is Cooking Wild with Evening and Kills. Okay. So now we can keep 
any fish we catch here. But when they're spawning like this and the females are full of eggs, we always throw them back, you know. You take all them females out. You ain't gonna have anything to catch. Oh, I ripped that piece. Nice. Just like so, and we'll go throw them in the fire. Actually, I might do another wrap around these. Yeah. Uh, I was just talking to the camera. What do you get, Billy? Oh, yeah. Get these tossed them in the fire. Get a good bed of coals and flop them on there. Just like so. Let them cook. how they are. Anytime anyone's catching one, they gotta go over there. The minute someone catches a fish, man, they all flock right there. I might catch one now. <laughs> it's good to see every time this, this time of year, there's a lot of folks that come up here. It's good family time. Cooking fish on the fire, watching kids catch fish. That's what life's about. Ain't that right, Kill? I'm catching popcorn. Ain't that right, brother? What's that? That's what life's about right here. Fucking shit, y'all. Just tell it these boys. So I haven't been up here fishing since I was a kid. Down here like this. I remember a fucking long time ago, like 35, 36, 37 years ago, there was no boss and shit in there. This whole thing was just thousands of them. Mm-hmm. Sand. Heck, yep. even when I was a kid, there. By now, we'd have had probably fucking probably about 60 fish by now. Yeah, I know it. Back in the day, I'm waiting to see if we can get any of these gold darn fish that, that, uh, that, uh, have the tags in them. Oh, yeah. They, they got tags in here and, uh, or tags in the fish, and you turn them tags in, you get a little bit of money. I think it's like five, ten bucks. I think they had a hundred dollar fish in here too. I think they did. Yeah, they did. But, but I caught it. <laughs> just caught it and threw it back. Yeah, I caught it and threw it back. I said, ha ha, nephews. He's trying to clear a spot over there. He's over there cutting down branches and shit. Ooh. Gabriel. I'm waiting for one of them to fall in the drink. <laughs> Remember when you told Bambi and him and his team suck? That's what you get. <laughs> That's what they all say. Isn't that what Brentley says? Yeah. That's what they all say. Walter so, Williams even. So last week in was out elk hunting and Richie and his nephew Aaron went down the bottom of the canyon. Me and Brantley went in the top. Well, anyway, we met up later that morning, drank some coffee and stuff. And we were sitting there telling hunting stories. And, I was sitting there telling him, I said, yeah, I was shooting at this buck. I don't know how I missed him. I held dead on and just squeezed the trigger. Brantley's standing over in the background. He goes, that's what they all say. That's what they all say. <laughs> <You> smart ass. <laughs> Wonder where he gets that from. 
I have no clue. It almost as if his stepmom taught him something. Maybe a little bit. Oh, bull. <laughs> Dude, is that a shark sitting right in front of you, Mackenzie? Yeah, it better. It looks like a off. fin sitting right there. Is it? Or is that a stick? It's a stick. Oh, shoot. That looked like a The shark. Yeah. Jaws even. <laughs> you guys like that fish? Caden, what do you think, buddy? It's really good. Is it? Ken's? Good. Oh, very good. Oh, very good. <laughs> I didn't get any video you know of taking them out. We I pulled them out and started. It's better cooked like this than it is on a pan at home. Anyway. Oh, yeah. See that? Look, the struggle is real. You got T Rex arms. <laughs> Hard to wipe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going to seven. Oh, look at that, Dad. Oh, Mmm, that fish is best over the fire, huh? Is that? That's what it's all about right here. Eating fish off the tailgate. Family. Sorry if you can hear my crunching. I had some chips. Fire going. Beautiful views. my most favorite spot like I said I grew up on this lake I spent oh, about every you. day of my yeah, summer up here deep. riding pedal bike up here backpack full of fishing gear and stuff to drink a good good childhood All right, boys, let's catch one on video. Oh, there's a big male following it. Cast out there a little further. Yeah. <laughs> Should have used my Where's your that, buddy? Big old female. Oh, yeah, it's a female. Oh, it's female? Yeah, we'll let it go. Go ahead and get the hook out of it. Put it back. <clears throat> yeah, I got I got one of those too. Come over here right by you. Don't hit me with your pole, okay? Don't hit it with a hook. You don't have to worry about Gable. You don't have to worry about me. I'm hitting everybody with a hook. You already hit me. Even me. Did you guys have a good day? Yeah. You had a great day? Yeah. How many fish we catch? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> hey, well, we cooked four of them. Uh, I thought that was three. Eleven, then. We have eleven oh. fish that we catch. It was a good dang day, that's for sure. Left the place better than we. <laughs> Pulled a bunch of these nap weed out of here. What do you think, brother? Good job, man. Honey? Pretty good. Got good one, Picked up. That's what's because being native is kind of all bad. You put the weeds and you're done and you put on the fire because you want a better fire and warm. warm up. Don't forget the booze, Rich. Yeah, the booze. The booze. <laughs> I know, we burned a bunch of nap we picked all the garbage up that others left. I'm going to head for home. Yeah, someone left a giant snagging hook. We picked that up so no one steps on it. Awesome day. <laughs> well, thank you folks for watching. Wish you good health and happiness as always. Over and out. Well, Brother Rich just headed out. Had an awesome, awesome day here at the lake. This is called Alhai Lake. 
like I said, I grew up just down the road a couple miles and I used to spend every day during the summer up here. I'd ride my pedal bike up here, backpack full of drinks and snacks and stuff. And this is what it's all about, you know, um, spending the day at the lake or out in the mountains beats any day of running around in a city and stuff like that. Just thankful to be able to do stuff like this with my family and close friends. Those of you who don't know, Richie is not my blood brother, but he's my brother. You know, I could call him any time of day and he'll be right there to give me a hand. And that's what it's about, having good good brothers like that to have your back. But left the place better than what it was when we got here. I'm sure you guys seen it in the video. There was a bunch of knapweed here behind us. We pulled all that, burned it. Pick the trash up that people left here. Always try and leave the place better than when you showed up. But again, thank you folks for watching. It was a great day, awesome day. Got a few fish to put in the freezer and we cooked up four. Man, they were delicious. It's my favorite way to cook them is over the fire. But just, I'll uh, flip you guys around and I'll give you some views from the other end of the lake when we're driving out. Over and out. This is the north end of the lake. We call it the spawning grounds. These brook trout come up here in this time of year. And they spawn all the way along the shore. All the way down. Oh, about a half mile, well, a quarter mile over there is where they spawn. And then uh, once they're done spawning, they spread back out through the lake and we come up and do some, do some ice fishing. You guys will see more of that. There's more videos on the channel of ice fishing, cooking fish on the fire. So if you guys like this kind of stuff, go back through the channel and check out some of those fishing videos. Yeah, that's the south end of the lake. Uh, my family ranch is over there, about two miles. It's a beautiful spot. It's my favorite lake in the whole world. Fishing, hunting hauling firewood out of this country. Couldn't have asked for a better spot to grow up. Just thankful to bring my kids here. Let them see what it's all about. We'll let that fire die down. Um, it ain't gonna spread or anything. Just let it burn out. Head for home. Here's from the southeast end of the lake. Got snow up over there on the mountain. Right up over behind that knob right there, there's a big mountain, it's called Moses Mountain. If you guys look it up, it's a, one of the tallest mountains on the Colville Reservation. Down at this end of the lake during the winter is really good ice fishing. just like